Most homies bought you ever. Most homies bought you ever. I am Pat Terry, and I am here to welcome you to the most homemade sports show ever. Look at the sign. It don't get no more homemade than that. I am here to bring you week two of the NFL's statistics. Quiet, I ain't even got time to do statistics. I'm going to give you these scores and what I think about them. Let's go ahead and get situated, y'all. All right. Uh, when it comes to, well, well you know what? We're going to start off with Thursday night's game. We're going to start off with Thursday night's game. Hold on. Let me find it, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The Bengals versus the Ravens. Oh, a classic battle. Classic battle. But let me tell you, the Bengals won it. 37 to 23. Man, I am messing all the way up. Uh, 34-23. I thought it was a seven. It's homemade. It's homemade. Go ahead. AJ Green did his thing. Shouts out to AJ Green. If you got AJ Green on your fantasy team, you did your thug thizzle this week. I'm going to tell you that now. All right, now let's get into Sunday, where it really got real. That's where it really got real. Okay, we're going to start off with the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings, where they tied it up 29 to 29. Now, everybody thought that A-Rod's knee was going to be fine, but they couldn't, spoil, they couldn't score more than 29. This is homemade, y'all. This is all homemade. All right, now. All right, so we're going to get into Kansas City. Pittsburgh Steelers. Well, Kansas City was victorious, 42 to 37. Uh, it looks like the Steelers need to try to steal a win, because I'm telling you, they tied last week, and then they lost this week. Oh, Lord. All right, Steelers fans, get to stealing. All right, now we're going to go to uh, the Falcons and the Panthers, uh, where the Falcons were victorious, 31 to 24. Come on, Cam. Last week, you were living your best life. Man, this week, you're living that stress life. Come on, man. You were down the street from Charlotte. We're going to jump into uh, the Chargers and the Bills, uh, where the Chargers whooped up on the Bills, uh, 31 to 20. Now, Buffalo Bills, do you really think trading the quarterback that took you to the playoffs last year was a good move? Oh, okay. All right. Right on. All right, now we're going to jump into uh, the Texans versus the Titans, uh, where the Titans were successful 20 to 17. For real, who watched that game, though? All right, we're going to pop off on into the Saints versus the Browns, where the Saints were victorious uh, 21 to 18. But the Browns are surprising people now. The Browns are surprising people now. The Browns are surprising people now. All right, now we're going to um, hop off into... Uh, the Jets versus uh, the Miami Dolphins, uh, where the Dolphins were successful 20 to 12. J E T S, set, set, set your butt down, man. Y'all thought y'all was going to the Super Bowl off of winning the first game of the year? So sad. Okay, now we're going to creep on in uh, to the Eagles versus the Buccaneers, where the Buccaneers was successful 27 to 21. Now, uh, the Buccaneers are playing with their backup quarterback, uh, Fitzpatrick, and Jameis Winston, uh, I'm just going to be truthful. I think you better let it go. Dun, dun, dun. Looks like it won't be starting no more. All right, now we got the Colts dun, dun, versus the Redskins. Dun, dun, dun. Well, the Colts were victorious 21 to 9. Hell to the Redskins. No, what the hell to the Redskins? Y'all... Y'all another one who thought y'all was going to win the Super Bowl after week one. Look at me. Chill on out there. All right, we're going to go ahead and get into uh, the Jaguars versus the Patriots, uh, where the Jaguars were successful 31 to 20. I'm so happy I can't stand the Patriots. Like, for real, can't stand the Patriots. Like, for real, like, like can't stand the Patriots. You know what I'm saying? I can't stand them. Can't stand them. Don't know them, but can't stand them. All right, we're going to creep on over into the Rams, the L.A. Rams, that is, versus the Arizona Cardinals, where the Rams whooped up. When I say whooped up, whooped up. I say whooped up, whooped up, whooped up, whooped up. When I say whooped up, whooped up. And whooped up, I mean whooped up on the Cardinals. That at 4-0. I 
I sound like I said Syria, but 34 to Syria. All right, we're going to get into a more historical match, the Raiders uh, versus the Broncos, where the Raiders were unsuccessful 20 to 19. Come on, you just, Raiders, y'all stuck with this dude for 10 years. 10 years! Oh, y'all already got two L's. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's two time. 10 years, okay. I'm going to pray for y'all. All right, we're going to hop into the 49ers uh, versus the Lions, where the 49ers were successful. They won. They got a victory. 30 to 27. Somebody, grandma been praying for y'all. Tell you, somebody, grandma has been praying for y'all. We're going to end tonight with Sunday Night Football. How about them Cowboys beating the Giants? 20 to 13. Unfortunately, we will have to listen to Cowboys fans acting like they won the Super Bowl all damn week. So sad. Look, man, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in to the most homemade sports show ever. Don't get no more homemade today. Listen, I'm going to take y'all out with uh, my Monday night picks. So uh, for Monday night, we had the Bears versus Seattle Seahawks. I'm going to take the Seattle Seahawks. I'm going to take the Seattle Seahawks. I'll see y'all next week when we're going to review the week three of the NFL. This is Pat Terry. Have a blast. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.